With Thanksgiving just around the corner, I wanted to take this opportunity to really talk to you about a subject that has scientific value and relates to the attitude of gratitude that we are told to have. I talk a lot of heavy stuff, marriage, standing, divorce, ugh. And I think every now and then we need to hear about the power of our thoughts in terms of how they can change our lives, the power of our actions and how they can bring about the very happiness that we're seeking that we think I'll never have because I can't control my spouse or bring him or her back. I can't bring about these good things. Well, let me tell you, the field of positive psychology is really a study on happiness. And the study on happiness says that there are two different types of happiness. The first one is hedonic. The second is eudaimonic. Now, hedonic is where we get the root words hedonism. And it's more of a material focus on the outer world. Hedonic happiness is external. The formula for believing one has happiness is based on the theory of the good life. That mathematically we subtract out all the goods that we have, and the bads that we have, and if you end up having more good things in your life, then you're happy. My health is good, my family is happy, I make a good income, um, I'm in great shape, I am happy, I drive a nice car. But the thing about hedonic happiness is that it is external and you don't have control of it such that if your car breaks down or your health fails or your spouse leaves, does that mean that you cannot be happy? Absolutely not, because what it says also that with hedonic happiness, the more of it you have, the more of it you need to sustain that happiness. Let's think about this, um, this cookie. You have this cookie and it is the best cookie in the whole world. You have never had anything make you feel happier. You eat this cookie, you're like, I am so happy. I want to be happy again tomorrow, so I'm going to eat another cookie. And will that cookie make you happy again tomorrow? Absolutely, but just a little bit less happy than it made you today. And then the day after it'll make you less happy and then less happy and then less happy. And there actually comes this point where that same cookie makes you angry because it no longer makes you happy and you have to have so much more of it. It's where we get the basis of addictions. So this hedonic happiness is external. We have no control over it and it's short-term and fleeting. Now, the other side is eudaimonic happiness, E-U-D-A-I-M-O-N-I-C, eudaimonic, eudaimonia, which come together meaning a fulfilled spirit. Unlike hedonic happiness, eudaimonic happiness is internal, it's intrinsic. And unlike hedonic, which is based on things you have, <coughs> eudaimonic happiness is based on things you do, specifically things you do for others. It's the more of it you give, the more of it you get in return. It's called the pay it forward happiness. So did you ever buy, go through a drive through pay for your meal and pay for the meal of the person behind you? They don't even know who you are. You'll never meet them and you don't even get to see the smile on their face. But something inside of you feels good. That's eudaimonic happiness. Eudaimonia is produced when we selflessly put others before ourselves. And the more of it you practice, the happier you are. I know some of you have worked in soup kitchens. Some of you have donated times to hospitals or homeless shelters. And you've seen what other people have as compared to you. We are in a nation whose very foundational principles say life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And yet we don't really know how to pursue that happiness. Well, I'm telling you today how to pursue the happiness. Go and give happiness to someone else. Look around you and be grateful for what you have. Don't look at what you don't have. There's plenty of that. Look at what you do have. Don't compare it to others. There are those who have more than you and those who have less than you. But go out and give of yourself to someone, even if they have no idea. And happiness will find you. So, happy Thanksgiving, ladies and gentlemen. I, for one, am very 
grateful for you. Without you, I wouldn't have my ministry. Without you, well, without you, I wouldn't have to do what I do. Thank you for helping me to do what I need to do. Thank you for helping me to realize how much I have. Thank you. God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving. Now go out and get yourself some eudaimonic happiness. <laughs>